What is going on guys? Dizzy Aaron here and today I am actually playing on my vanilla server and what do we have here? Yes, an iron golem farm and behind me I have a um, tree farm that um, one of my buddies here, Darth Vader's, helped me out with. He's actually on a server with me right now and he decided to drop on by so I said hey let's uh, do some recording see if people like my vanilla server um, so I'm gonna just finish this up here I'm actually just redoing the outside of it um, functionality wise it works it works really good actually uh, let me just show you guys actually let me put this on before I get attacked here we are playing on uh, hard mode so um, and I've been AFK in that farm forever in a day so all kinds of mobs like to come here. But basically, uh, in order for this to work, you just walk up to it, place it down, bone meal goes crazy. And then once it pops up, or once it grows, the pistons on the side, just push it out. Um, so let me see if I can get to show you guys what else it does. Oh, there it went again. As you can tell, it works really fast. And this is on a server. As you can tell so it does work on SMP as well as single player um, actually managed to break it on my single player world uh, so I had to revert back to this so I'm gonna have to redo um, the design but basically I'm gonna enclose this in like a steampunk style um, what's that called sawmill yeah a sawmill um, I have a little river going right next to it so I'm gonna make it look like it's a big sawmill um, and then obviously this is the functionality of it so it's gonna be just for aesthetics like right now it works it does its job I don't know if you guys saw that but uh, basically once the row gets filled up here with trees it activates this piston wall and the piston wall pushes them forward so yeah I mean as far as trees go I'm doing pretty good now I I kind of had a little tree farm going underground. Uh, might show you guys that, but it, it was all manual. You had to plant them, you had to wait for them to grow, and yeah, it wasn't the best. So I needed something that was a little bit more automated, and this seemed to fit the bill. So it uh, works lovely. And uh, if you guys do want, you can go on Darth Vader's uh, YouTube channel. He does have a YouTube channel, and he actually covers this whole uh, design for the farm. So if you guys are interested, just go check out his video. It's super easy, um, really quick. I was surprised of how quick he did it. I would basically um, load it up the server, we jumped on, and then probably within like, I don't know, 15, 15 minutes, he already had it done. So I felt kind of bad. I wa actually wanted to learn how he did the redstone, but um, the guy works quick, so yeah. Um, so we'll go um, take a tour around the place. Um, I just want to show you guys this and show you guys what I'm doing here. So um, let me get my horse and then I'll meet you guys over at my village that I'm redoing. All right guys, be right back. All right, so sun's going down and um, I'm not in a very good position here, but um, I can't go to sleep because um, Darth Vader over here is AFK at my skelly farm. And that's actually my base over there on the left the iron farm is over there so you just gotta come over here and then you hit my little village and I've been working on this for quite a while as you can tell um, doing this in vanilla is very time-consuming so um, yeah it's taken a while but let me just show you guys what I got so far and then you guys can let me know what you think uh, but basically you just come in and there's a lot of these little s oh we got that guy They are not welcomed here but um, Basically you come in there's not too much going on here. Um, it's still a work in progress, but There's a lot of these little houses and eventually this whole area is gonna be like a huge um, steampunky style area house or village village there you go um, that's my tower that's gonna be my little base and then um, so far what I just did um, 
I just took over the village. I uh, built a little breeder on top so I can start doing a little villager trading. I got some pretty good villagers, nothing too outstanding, but um, some of them are actually underground, stuck in holes. And I left them there on purpose uh, because they're actually really good trades. And then I got some other ones inside some of these houses in minecarts, just hanging out. Um, but yeah, for the most part, they all like to hang out around this guy. And um, here, let me go put this horse away. I won't really be able to show you guys anything while I'm riding a horse. So uh, I'll just go ahead and put him away. This is my little temporary stable area for all my horses. Um, nothing too fancy. I just blocked them all in. Put some of these little posts so I can tie them down. Well, my good horses anyways that I don't want to get away. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, one thing that I did do, uh, it, it's not really functional too much anymore is you'll see these little white or glass um, things and then underneath there's just a little hole. You're probably asking yourself what that is. Um, well, we come over here, you're gonna notice there's a piston in front of the door and well, there used to be a door there. <laughs> but it was raining and this doesn't work during the, night, uh, during the rain, but what it is, it's a um, daylight sensor. So I'm um, installing daylight sensors in these. Um, and what they do is basically anytime it turns dark, uh, it pushes up the pistons. So right there, you can see a piston, sticky piston. Um, right here, I have a sticky piston under there. Um, this one's functional. So as you can tell, it pushes up. And um, yeah, basically daylight sensor senses when it turns night. Um, it gives it a couple seconds. So it gives them a little bit of time to get inside the house. And then once they're inside, um, these guys pop out and block the doors so it's it protects some of the villagers it's not a hundred percent efficient someone's getting fucked up i don't know where that came from but yeah so it's not 100 percent efficient but that's pretty much it um nothing too crazy just like this room all right i took over this one it's just a little mini storage room um don't have a lot of stuff in here but i'll go ahead and take you guys back to my main base and then just show you guys around there for a little bit. All right guys, so we made it over here. And real quick, I just wanna show you guys, um, don't have a really good reed farm going, but that one's just a temporary one for now. And then just have some hay outside stored up. And then this is the base, I guess. Um, initially I found a skelly spawner and that's why that big tower thing's right there. So I found the spawner and then I realized, hey, um, I'm gonna need lots of stuff, so might as well just make a little mini base here. Do I have a gate here? I don't think I have a gate. Come here, come here, you. Oh, not you, you. Yeah, okay. And did this work? There we go. Okay. Um, and this thing right here is my automatic horse holding stable thing. Um, so on the back of these guys, there's locks. And what these locks do is basically, this is the way you work them. So if you want to leave, you just turn around, turn. Let me see here. Okay, now it's unlocked. So you would just turn your horse around. And of course it's not going to work. I'm recording. This horse wants to work. Okay. Well, that's actually my buddy's horse. So, um, Iceman. He doesn't play on my server anymore, so um, his, his horse is just chilling in my place. Okay, so this is the way it works. It's locked, you unlock it, get on the horse, and then you just leave. When, you, um, when you're done with your horse, you just come back. It auto locks itself. You just get off your horse, and then you're done. So right now, he can't leave. He's stuck in there. But for whatever reason, every once in a while, if they jump around or whatever, it will unlock. So I just added the security feature in the back of it. And now they're stuck in there, so they can't get out. So even if I wanted to, I can jump in and I can turn around and it's not going to do anything. But if I unlock it, like so, get on top of it, turn around and we just go. So this is pretty convenient, um, especially if you have horses and you want to keep them in a safe spot. 
Um, this works, like I just did, just toss them inside a pen. But I kind of like this, it's just a little cool. Little contraption, kind of like a garage for your house. <laughs> so yeah, that's the best I could do. If you guys know of any better ones, let me know. Um, but yeah, so I'll take you into my place. I have little stairs here. And this is just a overwatch area for in case stuff's back. Welcome back, buddy. I'm recording. And then, so this is the tower. And then we go downstairs. Um, this is the AFK area. Holy, oh, dude, trip me out. Yeah, his skin, his skin is uh, like kind of like a little zombie. He has a poking stick, but yeah. So basically, this is just a skelly um, spawner down below, and the light here just pushes down a piston with redstone um, in order to turn it on and off. So that's where it goes, and then everything just comes down or they get sucked up uh, with water channels go to the very top come down and then boom that's pretty much it um so this is tons of the stuff we got uh i'll show you guys my little farm from the side so i got a farm over here you basically just stand on this pressure plate and then boom all this is just bone meal from the skelly farm which is perfect um i want to do a new design i actually got this from monkey farm so that's a monkey farm design. And then this is your chicken cooker breeder. So we got some chickens and feathers. And then these guys on top lay their eggs, come down, they get shot out. And then once these little babies grow, they get toasted and I have myself some chicken. Um, we got a cow breeder over here. This is uh, as basic as you can get. Oh, didn't want to do that. So this is as basic as you can get, but it works. It, it does just fine. Um, get enough leather in raw beef so it's good to go um but yeah so let, let me show you around some other stuff so i will be right back all right so this was the original tree farm design and as you can tell it's nothing compared to the other one um this one basically just plant them all throughout this whole area and it just turns into one big huge chunk of trees and you just have to manually go through and chop them all down like this so th this works when you're starting out, especially since it doesn't take a lot of resources. Um, but like I said, the other one is far more efficient. Um, so over here, we have my little brewing area. I have tons of brew stands everywhere and they all brew up something different. Um, and behind me, we have this little guy. Another little guy. So it's actually a baby zombie. And I have a little... Um, sleeping mat for him but he decided to shit all over it that's why it's all brown but he is still wearing his little pink PJs I made him so yeah we'll go ahead and leave him there so his family's still looking for him if you guys know where his family is um, you guys can go ahead and tell him that he's safely inside his little house so he has enough light and he I, I fed him some some food so he should be good to go um, what else do we have here um, we have just all the tools and everything that I got. Um, we have some pretty decent stuff. Um, nothing OP or crazy. But right here, this button you may ask, where does it go? What does it do? Well, if you hit it, the T-tip flip flop back there that opens up this piston door and it just goes to a strip mine. There's nothing really going on down here. I have some nether wart going and then at the very bottom, um, yeah, it's just pretty much a strip mine. But, um, yeah this is basically what i do inside of vanilla i come in here and i grab myself some resources and i'm i'm basically i don't know if you want to call it hoarding or stocking up one or the other but i'm stocking up to be able to um, build a crazy strip farm or strip mine yeah it's not really a farm but um yeah i want to like redo that whole village so i'm gonna be like ripping apart this whole area um but i don't know if people really want to see vanilla stuff too much for me anyways um but yeah so as you can tell i've been doing all kinds of work down here so and there is ice under here that's why i'm going a little quick here but um yeah so my goal is just to rip this whole place apart um and then maybe build a base maybe not um i already dug a huge um pipe i guess 
on the underneath this thing down at the strip mine so I'll have an item um, sorting system that will just bring items straight up to the top and then it's gonna get sorted out up here somewhere I haven't really planned it out too much um, and then with 1.7 around the corner I might find a new location to live but so far I like this place um, I have a little um, storage area going and over here I have an enchanting room area so just do my enchanting and then I got some books in here and some of my um, books that I've done Ooh, fortune three forgot about that guy and feather falling um, but yeah that's about it I got some extra bows because I want to do it. Vader over here is going to town on my skellies I had this here set up because uh, when I go through the nether I'll just bring the horses and dump them off inside there and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah I just wanted to show you guys around a little bit um, I have another zombie farm that's um, out in the desert and then um, what else do we have here well, we have some other stuff but I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour and see how you guys like it if you guys want to see um, me either working on the iron farm the tree farm or what I usually do, which is work on the village, transforming that into my little steampunk, steampunk village. Uh, let me know by giving this video a like. That way I'll make some more of these and you guys can check it out. All right, guys. Um, so that about does for me. Um, I'll just go ahead and wrap it up here. And then uh, depending on how you guys let me know whether or not you guys like this stuff, I'll go ahead and make more videos like this or just stick with my uh, terraformer craft and the uh, feed the beast. Alright guys, so I'm Dizzy Aaron and I am out.